Today, we're gonna show you everything you need to know. Get your videos ranked in Google and YouTube. So, stay tuned. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that video is a very powerful tool for your business. But the problem is that most people don't see results because their videos never get seen. And refresh. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's going good. I just got done uploading this video and I already have 20 views. No, you didn't. I was just upstairs and I watched your video 20 times. What? You mean I've been working on this video and no one's even watching it? Well, did you even optimize well, it? No. No? Why no, not? I, I mean, I didn't know. Trust me, I've been in that situation before and it's not fun. So to help you out, I wanna show you my nine step formula to get your videos ranked on the first page of Google and YouTube. So let's start off with step number one, which is finding the perfect keyword for your video. One of the biggest mistakes that most people make is they just create videos on any topic that pops into their head. What you should be doing is creating videos based on what people are actually searching for. What are you looking for? Bathing suit? What type of bathing suit? Swim briefs. So instead of just randomly guessing what people are looking for, you can actually find the specific keywords that people are looking for. And you can do this with the Google keyword tool, but just make sure the exact option is chosen when you're looking for your keywords. After you find your keyword, we move on to step number two, which is adding your keyword in your video script. Not every bathing suit is treated equally. At MaleSwimmingBriefs.com, we want to show you the widest variety of male swimming briefs possible. So come on, visit us at MaleSwimmingBriefs.com and come get your swim on. I mean, come on, look at me. Did I really just put that in the video? Well, I guess that's a good thing I did because that video was a perfect example of using your keyword in the video. We ended up using our keyword swimming briefs three times in that short 30 second video. Now, when you're implementing this step, you need to be careful not to just list a bunch of keywords, but make sure that your script actually flows. Now, step number three is to upload your video, but make sure that the keyword is your file name. So in this case, our video file name is gonna be swimbriefs.mp4. And this just allows us to tell Google and YouTube what our video is all about. And now we move on to step number four, which is putting in a proper title and description. Every title should begin with your main keyword, and then you can add in a secondary keyword or more information about your video. The more text you have associated with your video, the better, which is why the description is so important. Every video should be a minimum of 200 words, but I recommend between 200 and 400 the more, the better. Don't forget to add all of your keywords, different keyword variations, and secondary keywords in your description. But make sure you don't just list a bunch of keywords, you wanna make sure they actually flow. But don't forget to add your landing page or your website URL at the top of your description so that it's easily seen. But you can also add in your video URL at the bottom of the description, and you can also add in a link to your channel. And now we move on to step number five, which is adding in your tags. The biggest thing to remember is to not go overboard. Tags, 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 tags. That was annoying, right? Well, Google and YouTube find it annoying when you add in a ton of tags because it's very hard for them to determine exactly what your video is all about. All you really need to do is just put in your main keywords and your channel name. When you put in your channel name, all of your videos will be lumped together in the related videos field. And now we move on to step number six, which is uploading a transcript of your video. And you can upload one under the captions tab of your video. So a transcript is just a word for word description of the audio in your video. And this is a huge indicator to Google and YouTube telling them exactly what your video is all about. And I never recommend skipping this step because it's very important to getting your video ranked and it only takes a few minutes, especially if you outsource it. Now, this is everything you need to do to get your video uploaded correctly, but if you stop here, you may only get a trickle of views and your YouTube channel could be a ghost town. But the next few steps, we're gonna show you how to get a flood of traffic to your videos. And now we're moving right along to step number seven, which is building your channel and using playlists. So the stronger your channel is, the easier it's gonna be for you to rank videos. And there are five things that you can do to increase the power behind your channel. You can get more real views, you can get more real subscribers, 
you can get more real comments and likes on your videos, you can build backlinks to your channel, and you can stay active. Think of it this way. If CNN.com wrote an article on video marketing, and then I set up a website, and two days later I wrote an article about video marketing, who do you think Google is gonna rank higher? Of course they're gonna rank CNN's article higher. They're a huge site, they're consistent, they're always uploading content, they always have a bunch of comments on their articles, they're a very powerful website. And this same process goes with YouTube channels. The more active and powerful a channel is, the higher and easier your videos are gonna get ranked. And this is because they see you as a trusted authority. And the second part to step seven is using playlists. All you need to do is create playlists using your main keyword and then throw your videos in that playlist. YouTube's gonna realize that they're in a playlist with your main keyword and they're gonna give a little more weight to that video. And now we move on to step number eight, which is getting more social indicators. Social indicators are quickly becoming an important ranking factor to your video. Things like Facebook likes, Twitter shares, Google pluses, and pins are extremely important for your video. And with all the Google algorithm changes going on lately, I strongly recommend you focus a lot of your time on social indicators. And there's a few ways you can do this. You can obviously post it on your profiles. So if you have a Facebook profile, a Pinterest board, or a Twitter profile, go ahead, upload your videos there, and share it with your audience. But when you do that, you should always encourage them to hit the like and share buttons so you can maximize the amount of social indicators from one post. And there's also one technique that I love to use because it is super effective to get organic social indicators. And this is my viral video marketing technique. And I do have a video explaining the viral video marketing technique and you can get it at the end of this video. So don't click it now, don't, don't click. Now we're moving on to step number nine, which is getting backlinks and embeds. The more websites you have linking to your video and embedding your video, the more powerful your video becomes. But you need to be very careful because building spammy backlinks, getting spammy embeds, and building too many backlinks too fast can have negative effects on your video. And I also like to get a wide range of backlinks to my video. So this includes things like social bookmarks, article marketing, web 2.0s and wikis. And you can even throw in some document sharing sites like slideshare.net. So there you have it. Those are the nine steps you need to get your videos ranked in Google and YouTube. And I know this is a lot of information for you to take in. And for this reason, I actually put together some free training for everyone who stayed to the end of this video. To get your free training, all you need to do is click the button right here or the link below in the text description. So go on guys, get your free training and click that link below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, let me know by leaving me a comment, hitting the thumbs up button, and this is Brandon from soldwithvideo.com, signing out. Don't lie, you're a little turned on right now, aren't you? Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Get a flood of traffic to your videos. I think we got it. <laughs> that was perfect. I'm out of your head. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that hit a little harder than I thought it would. Did you slam it down? You just dropped it? Yeah. Oh, you are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, that did just it a big old pop. <laughs> I, know, like... I know. After these messages, we'll be right back.